Prince Harry was left in the dark about the Queen's health during her final hours. That's according to Sussex biographer and close ally Omid Scobie's new bombshell book. In Endgame, Scobie's claims that after initially being told his grandmother was ill, Harry had to scramble to organise travel to Balmoral because he was met with silence both from Charles and William. The book reads, with no further information from other family members or palace aides, the Sussexes and their team had to operate in the dark. It was upsetting to witness, claimed a Sussex source. Harry was completely by himself on this. The book goes on to claim that despite the King citing protocol for not allowing Meghan to join the family in Scotland, a former palace aide says they just didn't want her there and she could sense she wasn't wanted. Harry and the Queen were well known for their close relationship, but how would the never explain, never complain monarch feel about the moaning in this book? I think she'd be exasperated by this once again. And I said this a couple weeks ago when Omid Scobie announced his release in the book. If Harry is that good friends with this guy, Harry should be saying to him, do not do yeah. this book, do not. Yeah. We've, we've done the documentary and the, Harry and, and Meghan have said, am I right, Daisy, that they're not gonna do any more looking back to the family. So then they should be stopping everyone. If you guys said, I'm gonna cash in on your family, JJ, or your scandals, Lord mm. and Miss I'll be begging you <laughs> to not write that book. Why is Harry not stopping his friend and ally, Scobie, from doing this? They could, yeah, even, just... they could easily pay him not to do it. I mean, yes. it's not like they're short of a bit of cash. Yeah. So we can only conclude uh, either that he is so hungry for fame that he turned down vast fortunes from them, which seems a bit unlikely, or they haven't tried to stop him writing the book, yeah. which is just yet more provocation. Also, I mean, you know, we've, we have seen, read all this before. We heard all this at the time. Uh, so he's only really reproducing, I would suggest, old news, but presumably with the cooperation of Harry and Meghan, as always with this guy. And uh, if so, this is a, another hand grenade lobbed into potential peace because we're hearing, Around you know, Charles that, that Harry uh, might have tried to ring the king uh, yesterday on his mm. 75th birthday. Uh, but a little pop fact emerged. Uh, the reason that maybe he didn't get through, didn't get to talk to the king, is the king does not have a mobile phone. Hey, Charlie, it's 2023. <laughs> you know, get with the program. <laughs> however, uh, however, it's very sad uh, that this book has come out just at the time when royal peace may have broken up because it's going to destroy it again, yeah. isn't it? Isn't it what fair to say, by the way, just on that point, I'd like to think that the king sits there at a desk with one of those old phones that you put one I think in. you're right. You hold <laughs> yeah. it. It's yeah. a complete... It's made of gold. <laughs> Hello, back in yeah. Palace 647. <laughs> Babble 347. That's the one. <laughs> That's what I'd like to think, Charles. <laughs> For the first time, I want to read... I want to read this book. I want to read this. You know what we're into now? We're into... Uh, this thing. You can read. We're into microaggressions now because that's essentially <laughs> what it is. Megan They're knows just, all about those. That's all it is, because we're now saying that any <laughs> slight or anything that could be into... You know, when somebody bumps into you on a train... Yeah, or, yeah, you know, yeah. Is it because... Have they done it because I'm white? Uh -huh. Have they done it because I'm male? Have they done it because they don't like my suit? It's because you're Ian Collins and we all hate it you. It could be that, or could it just be an <laughs> I think it's because they don't like your suit. That you know, well, <laughs> he's just done that gag, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, he said it's because you're Ian Collins. Oh, so I said it's not because you're Ian Collins, it's because your of your suit. suit. <laughs> it, we'll have a pop, Daisy. Yeah. We'll have a go. Just, uh, but I think that's the on in. Well, <laughs> You could just interpret all these moments and go, oh, it's because they didn't like us, or it's because it might just be that there wasn't room at the table, or it might just be that... Yeah. Well, yeah, this is one of multifarious. This reasons, is one of the yeah. things. So that this, uh, as you said, Omid Scobie's book, and we ha do have a few more details. But as Kevin said, a lot of them have w have been told to us by Harry already. Particularly the issue yep. of, um, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I was scrambling to get to Scotland. I was told that I could go with William, and then William suddenly, you know, ghosted me and wasn't talking to me and wasn't picking up the phone. And then I had to get my own private jet because all the normal <laughs> planes planes were full and all the rest of it. And, and as you said, Isabel, why is this book coming out? We know that Finding Freedom, which was Owen yeah. Scobie's last book, which was very controversial, we, we now know through various sources, including some of those court cases, when you know uh, Megan said, no, no, I didn't help Owen Scobie with his book. And then it was presented to court that she did. She did. And she was like, yeah. oh, yeah, for, no, that book. But also, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that Omid <laughs> Scobie. That Omid Scobie. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yes, I remember now that, yeah. that I did help. But that was very different because that was them coming back, you know, fighting back. So yeah. in some ways it was more, I'm not defending it, but that's why they were doing yeah. it. As Isabel was yeah. saying, not quite sure apart from 
but making also just, money what this one just is all finally about. in defense of the royal family here when somebody is critically ill and dying it is chaotic you don't know how long they're going to live you don't know what you can't continually giving updates now this is happening now that's happening yep. protocols that's, are, may go out of the window they may work they may not that's, it's a horrendous that, that, that's that, true, but, that, it, but if it was one of our siblings yeah. Oh, we'd be in touch with them. We would be, be even if we'd hearts, had the, the, you know, the bloodiest of rows. Yeah. You would be on the phone. You'd be going, get, get here. We'll go together. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. so sad. What about that stuff? That Harry was left all on his own. He's forty years old. Yeah, for goodness' sake, just get on the plane. And he did get there, <laughs> right. didn't he? He did get there, but he got there too late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and when he landed, all on his own. He found, he's that's when he found years out. Old. <laughs>